Well, the question today is on reflection and it reads given a prime, which is the image of A as shown under a reflection, find the equation of the mirror line in the form AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero. So when we sketch this, for example, here we have point A, and then a prime so a we are given as negative 1 5 and a prime is 3 comma negative 3 and we are told that a prime is the image of a under reflection so the next thing is to locate the position of the mirror line but we know that the mirror line will have to bisect the line a a prime so with this sketch here we can therefore determine the equation of line 2 that is if we had let the other one to be line 1 that is a a prime as line 1 so with this for us to get the equation of line 2 which is the mirror line we must know its gradient we must also know at least a point that lies on it and then we will also use an arbitrary point x y at this particular point we know that it is the midpoint of the line segment a a prime and therefore like if we call it m then we'll have to determine its coordinates as follows. The midpoint M is obtained as, so we get the X coordinates by finding the average of the X coordinate for A and A prime. So we have negative three, rather negative one, plus three over two. And then for the y coordinate we have 5 plus negative 3 also over 2 and that means that the coordinates of m is given as 2 over 2 that is 1 comma 2 over 2 again and that is 1 so with this point again we can also determine m2 but we know that m1 which is the gradient of line 1 is obtained by simply getting the change in y or the change in x for these two points here a and a prime so that will simply be change in y that is negative 3 minus 5 so you have negative 3 minus 5 over change in x which is 3 minus negative 1 so we have 3 minus negative 1 so that will be negative 8 over 4 and that is negative 2 so with m1 being negative 2 then we know that the two lines are related as follows line one and line two are perpendicular to each other so what we're simply going to have is that the product of their gradients should be negative one but we know the gradient of line one which is negative two so m2 will simply be negative one times one over negative two so in other words, we've replaced M1 with negative 2. So when you multiply both sides by 1 over negative 2, we get a half as the gradient of line 2. So with the gradient of line 2 and a point on the line, we can therefore introduce an arbitrary point also, x, y. So we have m2 arbitrary point xy and the midpoint which lies on line 
true also so we have one comma one then we can therefore determine the equation of line two so we have change in y over change in x that is y minus one over x minus one and that should be equivalent to a half so cross multiplying we will have 2y minus 2 is equal to x minus 1 and remember we are told to leave our answer in the form ax plus by plus c so we will simply have 2y and negative 2 crossing to the right hand side so that we have x minus 2y and then minus 2 when it crosses we'll have positive 2 minus 1 and that is plus 1 is equal to 0. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.